Hello friends. So in today's video, let's solve read code weekly challenge, uh, weekly contest problem two, which is removing stars from string. So it is, uh, yeah, it is a good problem. Initially, uh, it, the logic didn't strike to my mind. So what we again, we are given a string s which contains stars. In one operation, we can choose a star in s and remove the closest non-star character to its left, as well as remove the star itself. Okay, returning, return the string after all stars have been removed. Correct. So what is what is our example? Uh, yeah, what is our example? L E lead star star code star. Okay, so my example is lead star star code star. So what I so what I will do? See, I have two stars over here, so I need to remove these two elements. I can remove these two elements. I have one star over here, so I can remove this element. And what would be my resultant string? L E C O E. Correct. So this is my resultant string. So this is the case, right? Now what was the second case? Erase. 1 2 3 4 and 5 yeah there were 5 stars okay so what i could do i can i, I see that i have 5 stars right so i could remove remove all of these elements so my resultant string would remain an empty string correct so this is the question so now how would how would we approach this question see let's take this example lead star star c o d star and e what if what if see uh, i could iterate from the back of the string okay if I uh, yeah if I why because see, if I iterate from the front end of the string then I will see the star I will first see the letters and then I will see the stars right now again when I see the stars and if I go back and then again delete that then it, it would be a bit complicated right instead instead what we could do see I would start iterating from the backwards of the string see and now if I if I found a star then I what I would do I would, I would increment my count correct I have incremented my count and yeah I keep one visited vector or I would say mark vector see mark vector uh, for each element for for uh, string of n size and e initialize with one right initially all of them are a part of string right now uh, as uh, we are told that we need to remove the stars and all the prefix uh, non star character to its left correct so what we could do see this is the star so I would increment my count so my now count variable is one and I have marked this to zero this all are in, this is one correct now and now when i see a character right and if i see my count is non zero so what i would do i would decrement my count first and i would mark this character as also zero correct see you you understand it then i would towards and I, it is very intuitive right now i have seen a character my count is zero so nothing to do with so my this remains one this remains still one right now see i have now again seen a star so now i would increment my uh, count to one and I would mark this visited as zero, a uh, mark as zero. Now again a star, so I would mark this as a two. Now I would mark uh, this visited to be zero. Now I am seeing a character, and my count is non-zero, right? Count is two. Now I would decrement my count and mark this as zero, correct? Now again I have uh, I have a character e, and my count is non-zero. Decrement the count and mark it as zero. Now this this two remains one. Why? Because we have initialized entire array with one. Now if I see how many elements with okay sorry uh, one note good got closed by mistake yeah yeah so now see wh where were we yeah so this was marked one this is zero uh, sorry this is also one and this is zero zero correct and yeah this is zero and this is one so now if I see how many characters are remaining whose mark is one so L E C O and E and rest all characters are removed so let's check my answer what is it yeah L E C O E so it, it is very intuitive let me do the same procedure for second test case so it would be more clear probably it is 1 2 3 4 5 correct I, I yeah as I as we decided that we would iterate from the back end of the string initially my count is 0 C na star mark, mark it 1 increment the count C na star again mark it 1 increment the count yeah so the same procedure for all of them uh, sorry sorry mark it mark it zero right uh, initially initially entire string is marked with one so now i would mark it as zero sorry for that and so this is a zero and yeah so how many stars i have seen so five my count will increment to five right one two three four and five right now i am seeing a character okay and my count is non zero so i would uh, mark it as zero and my decrement my count Similarly, I decrement my count for all of these characters and I would mark it as 0. 
so yeah all of the characters got removed and i am so i am having a resultant string which is empty i would now search for the uh, characters whose visited is one none of i found none of them so i would return this empty string correct so this is a very simple problem and yeah it is a string i would say implementation time of problem so yeah, let's let me now show you the code part yeah so where is the code uh, yeah here is a code so uh, sorry you know this uh, where is it where is it let me go to my problem solve it yeah so what i did i initialize uh, so this is not required this is why I, I was doing some another approach so this is my string answer which would show my answer i am marking is present to, uh, entire string array to be, to be one right now if i found a uh, star i would increment my count and as i said i would star means we need to remove all the stars i would mark it as zero and if i found a character and if my count is non zero then i would decrement the count and mark is present to be zero correct why because uh, this star uh, this uh, these two stars will remove e and t correct so that is what is required and yeah and towards the end i would check if my is present uh, is present uh, i would say flag is one then i would uh, add it to my answer else simply return answer correct so this is very simple problem and i hope you liked it and so do not forget to like and subscribe the channel for such content thank you